closing statements are over with. Now the jury is on their way. The judge has sent the jury off to deliberate. So if you're not sure how it works, the judge gave the jury instructions on what they're supposed to do once they get back to the deliberation area. He recommended that they select a four person. I'm sure the judge told them that they're not supposed to do any independent research or seek any outside references only to use the information that they heard and saw in the courtroom. Now all the jurors are supposed to be within the confounds of that deliberation area, that room. If somebody happens to leave, they're supposed to stop deliberating and wait for that person to return. And that includes all breaks. So while the jury was deliberating, there was two updates. First update, the jury requested to see Mr. Kelly. Yes, that's the independent witness. They wanted to see his entire transcript from the trial. If you recall what Mr. Kelly said when he was on the stand, as I remember it, check the earlier videos, but you'll see that Mr. Kelly basically said that he was woken up in the middle of the night from some loud arguing and fighting. He walked out to his balcony and he saw that there was a heavy fist fight, an argument between the two females. He saw the one larger male, the bodyguard, walk up to them and violently separate them. After separating them, he saw that one of the females went back to the car passenger front door opened and fired now there was a question asked by the prosecutor where did he see the firing come from and he said that once he saw the firing it came from that exact area where that female walked back to but it was towards the bottom like the floor board of the vehicle and that's that was quickly disputed because there was no apparent evidence that a bullet was fired inside of the vehicle also when asked when the male fired what happened and he he made some reenactment where it was almost like the shorter male which we're assuming to be tory basically held the gun up in the air like this and fired which again is questionable just for clarity the jury's responsibility is to ensure that either the prosecutor met or did not meet their burden. Yes, it must be beyond a reasonable doubt. So the second update from the trial, the jury was basically requesting a definition to understand what the word willful means, okay? The judge is going to, in the morning, have the jury come in from their deliberation room and give them a definition, the legal definition for the word willful. Usually the judge won't go beyond whatever the textbook definition of the word willful means. It'll be interesting to see what happens next. We will be following tomorrow, day 10 of the Tory Megan Thee Stallion trial. Make sure that you stay tapped into the channel, like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to share the content.